Okay, today we're gonna go see the first batteries built outside of Texas. Texas. Ah. That's gonna be Alabama. It's exit 49 on I-10 West. As we are right now, we are driving and we're gonna exit in a few minutes and we're gonna go check it out. Here it is. say that is impressive and uh, should be like a 50,000 square feet facility with 120 pump of gas and 4 pump of death with the biggest most pristine bathroom we are gonna check it out Record this video, they were just open probably since month of couple of months. So that's why you see a lot of We're gonna go between the two lines of pumps so you can see how big it is. Look at that! Right and left. 124 pumps in total. What is that? Here. Look at that! Everybody's coming here to check it out. Let's go inside. So you can buy a lot of stuff here. They say all made in Texas. It looks nice. They say they have 35 convenience stores in Texas. And the atmosphere is always nice. And A lot of food inside here. Oh, and they say they're gonna open another location in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so here is in the section of package food. Yeah, you see, it's like a, a small Walmart integrated in a gas station but you look at the coffee i tried the coffee the coffee is really good we also have a section we're gonna check it out right now for the meat and the cakes It's a lot of grilling stuff. Here it is. So this is the cut with the logo. And here it is. We're gonna have the meat section on the right. Oh, also some kind of sweets. Yeah, sweets first and then meat section here. And then there is a lot of stuff for the house. A lot! A lot of cool stuff that you cannot find in other places. Shirts. And then fishing stuff. So this is the house section. 
Remember, everything is made in Texas. Everything is big in Texas. For sure here the beach stuff because this is the exit for the new street they made to go to the beach oh here it is the bathroom the famous bathroom look how big it is it's like the whole all the rest everything is big here look at that and we also went at night a couple of times there's nobody there at night this, this was probably like 1 a.m. <laughs> there are still people there and it was in uh, winter probably February January February Ooh. yeah that's good experience let's go check it out later when it's gonna be high season see you guys Thank you. 